It'll just sound like I'm talking to nobody. Hey guys. <coughs> <laughs> hey guys. Is is this one working at all? Hey guys, it's Mortimer. I'm gonna break your neck. I'm gonna break your claw. I'm gonna break. So we're gonna. I'm here, and I'm got. When I the other day I walked, and now I'm at JoJo, and so we went. I went to fanfiction.net as you do. And I checked out the JoJo, and now we're going to read the JoJo. We're going to read some JoJo, and when, and then it's going to be, and we're going to read it. So, that out there. ZX Prime. <clears throat> I love it when people start an entire epic based on the thing that they watched. So this is called A New Bizarre Adventure, and it's by ZX Prime. A mere two years after the defeat of Yoshikage Kira. I don't, I don't know who that is yet. Who's that? Uh, that's part four guy. Okay. Remember, he's the serial killer? He's serial man. Who, who's the stand master of... Amir, shut up. Amir, to, shut up! No. A mere two years after Cheerios, a previously unknown member of the Joe Star uh -oh. bloodline unveil... Oh, Jesus. Unveils himself to Jotaro. Equipped with knowledge of his father's past, no. this new Joe Star has to cut all loose ties with his father's former lifestyle before time runs out. But with stand users running rampant and the return of a certain enemy, no. can this young man win? No. Can he win? I hope not. The peaceful Morayo town was shrouded in darkness. Oreo. This is... It's pronounced like Oreo, except with an M. Um, I'd pronounce it like that if I were a weeaboo. If I were a weeaboo. <laughs> That's how the Japanese people pronounce it. Yeah, because they're all weeaboos. The they're peaceful, the peaceful Morayo town was shrouded in darkness. The few streets illuminated by dim overhead lamps were... How come this is almost good? <laughs> I've read plenty of bad fan fiction. It doesn't start like this. <laughs> Devoid of life, all completely empty. Curtains were drawn and doors were locked as the residents slept unaware of the important meeting areas about to unfold. See, that's passive voice. You don't want it. Yeah. With the defeat of one Yoshi serial boy, Yoshikage Kira, Cheerios, occurring two years ago, Jotaro Kujo thought he'd never need to return to Morio. Ha! 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 Gotcha. <laughs> Yet here he was, preparing to leave after a brief stay. Jotaro plopped down. <clears throat> Jotaro plopped down on the couch in his hotel room and picked up the phone on the table across from him. This is scintillating. He dialed in a number as slowly as possible. That's not how he do. And waited until he heard a faint click, signifying someone had picked up. Thank, thank you for detailing how phones work. I would have never known. Hirose Revenants. Katmandu speaking. Koichi. A, a groggy boy croaked on the other end of the... Excuse me. Uh, do you get all your writing style from Stephen King? Because don't, because it's bad. <laughs> a groggy boy croaked on the other end of the line. Kat Kathmandu, Jotaro Koichi. spoke into the receiver softly, as if not to divulge much attention, because he cool like that. I need to ask a favor of you. After just a few minutes of talk, you can't do this fan fiction. You can't do this to me. You can't if you're going to plot me, thing. if you're going to plot me, open me up and fill me with your delectable plotly words. You can't ignore them you can't because you can't be like, oh, now I'm going to explain this thing. And now I have explained it. <laughs> My medi I have a medical condition in which you must feed me vocabulary. I want it. <laughs> Jotaro placed the phone back down. Kitty Hirose would soon be Koichi. on his way to Naples, Italy to inspect a person of interest. Oh, one fuck. Giorno Giovanna. Oh, fuck. Oh, jeez. Um, I hope this is not going where I think it is. It's going exactly where you think it is, and that is into the anus of Giorno Giovanna. <laughs> I want to die. I want to die after hearing that. Jotaro <laughs> stood and hefted his single duffel bag over his right shoulder and cautiously walked out of his room so as not to trip on the upturned carpet. I inserted that one, trying to be as silent as possible. As he passed, not a caution. As he passed by the front desk of the hotel, he dropped his room key as well as a rolled up stack of yen in front of the check-in area. Yes. Yes. That's that, how you check that out is a how hotel. you check out of a hotel. That is a correct action. We did not need to hear about it, but there it is. Now I know how, thank you. Jotaro walked down to where his rental car was parked. Um, incorrect semicolon. Approximately half a mile away from the hotel. 
After dropping an envelope containing a few special contents off of the Higashikata residence, his next stop would be California, where he'd transfer on a flight to Texas, the location of Speedwagon Foundation headquarters. That is the only way that's ever going to be pronounced. That's fair. Okay. As Jotaro got his passport stamped and made his way over to the boarding area, he felt a light tap on his shoulder. He turned to see what I mean when I said that you can't write Jojo. You yeah. have to present it visually, or else you're not. Jojo isn't there. Like I mean, like you, you just, you just kind of have to picture, like you know, Jotaro just kind of like standing, yeah. like in his normal way. Yeah. And then like someone taps him on the shoulder, and there's like a silhouette over his shoulder, like while he's turning around, and there's like the menacing symbols just like right there. <laughs> you have and then to. He turns around and it's just some boy. That's <laughs> it. That's very you... Jojo, but you can't convey that with. Text. Yeah, you have to insert the style. In your head, unless I I have to figure out a way to insert the style with with words. I need to see if it's possible Maybe because you, you are insert, not helping. Like pictures of like <laughs> and it's just every couple sentences. Yeah, just like <coughs> every sentence with the menacing symbol. He turned to see a handsome little boy around thirteen or so. He guessed. Are the boy's voice trailed off as his head tilted toward the ground? Are you Jotaro Kujo? Jotaro faltered. Mm. He never does that. Wondering how... Ah, uh, uh, nanny. Wondering how this teenager <laughs> and someone he had never met before at that had known his name. Well, you save the world. He took a few steps forward to gain a bit more height on the street. That's not how walking works. Well, I mean, okay, to be fair, he did save the world, but nobody knew. Question. When you walk forward, do you increase in height? No, it's more like he's... Like, it's a small child, so he's walking towards him. It's less like he's increasing listen, in height and listen, more like the slope listen, is having a higher angle. My show is but that's not based what they said, on comedy. So it's dumb. My show is based I'm on agreeing jokes. I'm with you, but also they kind of have a point, but they did it wrong. My they did it wrong, and I hate them. It's based on jokes, and you can't do this to me. <laughs> Anyways, jokes. Uh, where were we? Oh, had known his he gained uh, Bubeskins. You must have the wrong person, he spoke with a hint of tenacity in his voice. I've never met or known anyone with the name of Cujo in my life. He would have just kind of been like stoically not saying anything. He would have left. Yeah. The boy pulled a small card out of his pocket and stared at it for a moment. That's really odd, he responded, raising the card up to Jotaro's eye level, because that's not what it says on your ID. Oh, you sneaky, sassy Sammy Sue. Question, though. Yes. Why would he have done that if... Why would he be nervous at the beginning if he was like, oh, I'm going to pull some bullshit on you? <laughs> and A, why would the bullshit have been pulled if Jotaro wouldn't have done that? I think the... Writer made Jotaro do that specifically so they could have this character do this thing. Have you ever read a fan fiction before? Yes. You can't address every flaw in a fan fiction. You will be here all night. <laughs> all we got all night, man. Oh, jeez, I'm crazy. I'm, I generally a half hour for this. Show. <coughs> I generally pop videos in about. Oh yeah, we have time. Oh my god, let us wreck. <laughs> <laughs> Jotaro faltered again before reaching. <laughs> He said for a moment, but it's twice, so I yelled at him. But the teen pocketed it before it was within his grasp. How did you get that? Jotaro qu question, questioned. 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 Question. As the two stared each other down. <laughs> the, the boy reached up to the left side of his black jacket and blue t-shirt. Oh, cool. I like it when you introduce your new character and then you spend a paragraph telling us what color his shoes are. Thanks. Uh, to be fair... He did only spend, like, half a sentence. Oh, we're not done. Uh-oh. He gripped his collar and pulled down. Oh, no, it's okay, the birthmark that's two. thing. The young man turned to show his... ...to Jotaro. This! <laughs> he stated bluntly as Jotaro stared in shock at the star-shaped birthmark the stranger had just revealed is better than any form of ID. But it's not, though. And Dio, fuck it, Dio fucking has one. Yeah, he stole it. At the it. end of part six, like, some other guy just kind of gets one because he absorbs a baby. No, I'm not joking. And Jotaro's <laughs> like, oh, a tattoo? That's cool. Bye. The end. Yeah. <laughs> Jotaro's eyes stayed Except locked that. on the mark. It looked slightly more faded than his own. Why? He's a child and you're a full-blown marine biologist. 
but it was definitely the real deal. No, he's aging in reverse. That's why. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> he's Benjamin Button. If this total stranger somehow had the exact same birthmark that belonged to every other member of the Joestar family, how, Jotar rephrased the question he had asked earlier, did you get that? Okay, you need to stop breaking up your dialogue with 80 bajillion words of what the people are doing. And there also, are better ways. Also, Jotaro would not phrase that like that. <laughs> it would just be like, how did you get that? Not like, how did you get that? You know? It's, that is it's, a Joseph it's thing to do. not a phrasing that he would do. The boy returned his left hand to its original position in his pocket, letting his clothing conceal the birthmark yet again. That's for you to find out. If you're interested, that is. And he goes, Wink. oh, are you a Joe star? And he goes, yup, end of chapter one. <laughs> he answered, picking up Joe Taro's bag and hoisting it over the shoulder opposite the one bearing his own load. Dude, when we talk about loads in JoJo. Okay, like, question. Uh -huh. Where, where's the button that releases the saxophone music? I want that button. I just want to press it, like, right now. All right, press it. Boop. No, sax music came out. I think it's broken. Um, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna edit that in post. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, the team strode past Joe Taro and into the corridor that led onto the plane. We can talk more once we get to our seats, he called over his shoulder. I don't know how much Joe Star this is going to be the voice. How much Joe Star blood is running through my veins, but it's definitely there. That fact can't be ignored. And that is his catchphrase, probably. Jotaro reluctantly followed with his hands in his pockets. That's Jotaro. Oh. Yeah. I mean it's not difficult. Reluctant hands in pockets? <laughs> That's good. That's some Jotaro right there. Maybe more part three Jotaro than part four Jotaro, but still. Seeing it well, part three was better Jotaro, fight me about it. I'm not fighting you about it. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing his bag was already in the overhead compartment of the phone pl plane. He quietly took a seat next to the teen. Having partially regained his former composure, he turned to face the boy, who was now pounding a can of ginger ale. Um, pounding back, you insane demon child. Pounding back. I you, mean, you don't pound the can because that means punching or. I mean, to be fair, this is JoJo, so that's not <laughs> out of the question. He turned to the boy who was destroying a can of ginger ale with his knuckles. No, with his stand. <laughs> with his stand's knuckles which was completely composed of knuckles and knuckles and knuckles and knuckles and knuckles and knuckles. <laughs> um, he stated as the boy finished chugging, your verbs are gross. You know my name. May I ask yours? That's also not Jotaro yeah. like, at all. Jotaro would grab him by the balls and go, tell me your about your mom. Name? Who is your daddy and what does he do? <laughs> The teen crushed the can and tossed it into the waste basket. Biscuit, a passing stewardess was carried in. Doesn't happen. Alexander Joe. Alex Alexander. Alexander. Alex fucking. Xander. I thought you were a JoJo, not an Axe Joe. What is this? <laughs> There's a reason we have Joes in all the names. <laughs> well, maybe he's not a JoJo. Oh, he's no, just no, he's, he's an Alex Joe. Just a Joe star. He's not a JoJo. Let me just go ahead and He's scroll not the out. protagonist of a part. See, it just says unknown member of the Joe Star bloodline. It doesn't say a new JoJo. Well, yeah, but it's he sort of. have no Joe. It sets him up as a main character because he's like, can this young man win? No. His name is Alex. He can't win. That's the end. Sorry. Yeah, his name's not JoJo. <laughs> end. Fuck him, that means he loses. He responded, it pisses me off when people use my full name with or without reason. What's your middle? Dad would be full. You're a silly little child. Jotaro silently sympathized with People Alex. People always use his full name. Who was now trying to find a comfortable position in his cramped seat. Dad. People because. either call him like fucking, you know, Dr. Cujo or Jotaro. They call him nothing else. It's always his full name. Like, it's no, he doesn't have a nickname. No one anything. calls him jo Jotaro J J Cujo. I mean, some people do. That would be silly. His enemies do. Did Dio do it? Yeah. He probably did. Dio better show up in this. 
I don't Whatever. care if he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> Please undeadify him. I will forgive <laughs> that piece of thing for fanfic as long as we just have Dio and the fucking world back. Or heck, like fucking part seven Dio. I'd go for that. Dinosaur Dio. Not enough leg room. You sure it's too late to switch to first class? That's how he sounds now. Joe Taro ignored him and wait. Oh, it was Alex. You need to be better. Jotaro ignored him and opened his mouth with more questions at the ready. You're a Joe... You're, <coughs> you're a Joe star. But your lineage, namely your parents... I will smack you. That's what's confusing <laughs> to me, he stated. Alex leaned into his cushion, slightly arching his back like a cat. My mother was a little all... Oh. See, now I got confused. My mother was a little all over the place, he, he clarified. clarified. <laughs> she was there one second, gone the next. Yet she raised me better than my father ever did. I was the result of a one-night stand. Ah! <laughs> Heard I had a half-brother who was also born that way, too. Oh. Who's with everyone and dragging Joseph through the goddamn mud? <laughs> poor He's the Joseph. Best JoJo. Why must you adulterize the poor man? What did he ever do to you, How... Rocky, and also this fan artist? <laughs> yeah. Curse you. Oh, I miss me some Joseph. Yeah. He was the good. Yeah. The only one. The only good. The only good. Where am I? Oh. I heard that the best negatal. Jotaro turned to face the runway as the plane lifted off into the sky. Yare, yare. <laughs> yeah, you got it. <laughs> He's now a peppy American man. Yare, yare, he muttered. Your, Your father, father was Joseph Joestar, wasn't he? Alex nodded somewhat grimly. Yeah. He spoke with a slight <laughs> quiver in his voice. Uh, I can't forgive him for what he went and did with both Josuke and I, but that's not important. Something my dad did when he was really young, it's falling on my shoulders to take care of it now. What? Uh, Joseph made more mistakes in this fanfiction. <laughs> yeah. Alex reached into his bag and carefully pulled out a mask fashioned entirely from stone. Oh, oh. no. I thought they destroyed all of those. Which they Are did. Are you saying Speedwagon messed up? <laughs> you should, you should reach through the internet and punch whoever made this in the face for mm. implying Speedwagon, that Speedwagon would dare Wagon to do a dad bad thing. Is not a perfect. <laughs> Person. Perfect. perfect human being. Our, per our perfect, our perfect scarred boy. He's the best. Mm. And that this fan <laughs> artist is implying otherwise is criminal negligence. He should, he should go to prison for that. The black soulless eye sockets seemed to pierce Jotaro's very soul. Not his kind of soul, he his very soul. He has never seen one of these before. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't know what a stone mask is. He would go like, what is that? Are you doing a kabuki play later? And he's like, yes. And then the fanfic ends. Yes. <laughs> the face was slightly cracked, but the eerie mask, the eerie Mac, sorry, could still be recognized as a piece of costume. Not costume, Alex remarked, as if reading Jotaro's mind. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is anything but. This is one of the many stone masks that's haunted our family for generations. The kind that granted Dio his immortality. The kind that could make pillar men into perfect beings. Uh, uh, uh like, okay, so... Uh, we know, don't... There's so, many there's so many problems with this. Don't also, define the plot that's wrong. Who the fuck is this kid? Assume... What 13-year-old child speaks in this manner? This one. <laughs> He was raised by goldfish in the tundra. That's why he speaks in this way. <coughs> the kind that has given me terrible nightmares for years. Nightmares that have unveiled a truth too startling for this world. The world would be so startled it would have an aneurysm. Too startling for us! 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 Uh, Joe Taro was taken aback by this statement, as he never <laughs> ever is. As he could fear, fear the sea deep down in he Alex's was eyes. Deo, and like he was taken aback for like one panel out of <laughs> several things. He nodded in understanding. He Very stopped well. his own heart, and he was just like mildly put out. <laughs> Please continue. He's Japanese. 
Alex took a deep breath in and out again. Thank you for detailing how your character breathed. During his youth, during his youth, Joseph Josar, my father, battled and defeated the last four pillar men on Earth, but he only killed three. Oh, fucking God. <laughs> The truth dawned on Jotaro as Alex's expression got more and more foreboding. That's not how you show don't tell. Excuse me. That's right, he confirmed Jotaro's silent fear for hi him. The fourth pillar man, the one my father failed to kill. The one who just so happens to be under surveillance at the Speedwagon Foundation headquarters. The one by the name of Santana. He is going to break free and use a stone mask to become the perfect being and destroy us no. all. <laughs> I know! No. Everyone's no. No! Everyone's no. The Red Stone of Audra was destroyed. Yep. It was. Yes, it was. And there was only one copy of the stone mask which could use the fucking red stone of Aja in the first place. And you know who had that? Cars. And you know what he did immediately after finishing using it? Did he destroy he it? He fucking broke it with his bare hand. <laughs> he was like, okay, I'm done with this mask. Squish. That was I'm a sorry. I just, I need to get that out. I need to get that out. And I hate this human being. That was a pretty good fan fiction. I'll give it about a 7 out of 10. We're not done yet, though. There's another chapter. Okay, well, we have to, this video is long. And I post videos in, usually with, I'm done. Until next time, love!